I'm Maggie. Welcome back to No Frills Kitchen, and today we're going to be making an Imaruli Khachapuri recipe. Khachapuri is a stuffed cheese bread that is probably the most famous Georgian dish, and this version is one of the most common found throughout the country. It hails from the West Central Imereti region and is my personal favorite iteration. It's super easy to make, and it's really gooey and cheesy. And if you're a fan of Georgian food, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. First, you have to make your hachapuri dough. This is the exact same dough that I use in my Lobiani recipe, and it's super easy to make. Dissolve four grams of sugar and four grams of active dry yeast in 75 mils of warm milk. Stir to combine and set aside until foamy, about five to 10 minutes. Next, in a large bowl, whisk together 200 grams of flour and eight grams of salt. Make a well in the center of the flour and crack in one room temperature egg, 15 mils of oil, and your milk and yeast mixture. Stir until a shaggy dough forms and all of your flour has been incorporated. Turn out onto a clean work surface and knead the dough until it is smooth and supple, about five minutes. Add a dusting of more flour if the dough is too sticky. Transfer to a lightly oiled bowl, toss it around to coat it in the oil, and cover with plastic or a damp tea towel and set in a warm spot to rise until doubled in size, about one to two hours depending on the temperature of your room. When your dough is about to finish its rise, it's time to make your filling. Grate 200 grams of amaruli cheese and 100 grams of sulguni cheese on the large holes of a box grater and then transfer to a bowl. And make sure to feed any stray pieces to your dedicated partner slash cameraman. If you can't find these cheeses, you can sub in an equal amount of feta for the amaruli and low moisture mozzarella for the sulguni. Crack in an egg and mix together until well combined. Set aside. Now, gently punch down your dough and turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface. Using a rolling pin, roll it out into a circle until it reaches about 25 centimeters in diameter and about five millimeters thick. Pile the cheese in the middle, leaving at least an eight centimeter perimeter of dough. Pat the cheese into a disc, ensuring that it's of even thickness. Fold the dough over the cheese mixture, pleating and pinching to ensure that the filling is completely sealed in. Gently roll over with your rolling pin to seal it further. Then flip it over and continue to roll out your khachapuri until it reaches about 30 centimeters in diameter. Using a sharp knife, cut four two and a half centimeter long steam vents in the dough. Transfer to a parchment lined baking sheet and then put it in a 200 degrees Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until lightly browned, puffed and crisp. Allow to cool for about five minutes before transferring to a cutting board and slicing into wedges, like a pizza. Dig in and enjoy while it's hot. And that's how you make a maruli khachapuri. As you can see, it's really easy and there's no way you can go wrong with a combination of bread and cheese. Let me know in the comments which Georgian recipes you want to see next. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos.